Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Prodigy from Kilo23. Today we're checking out a pretty recent gun to the airsoft market. This is JAG's in-house rifle. It is their PHX-15. Now this comes in several different variants. This is the SBR, or short barrel rifle model. And so we're going to be checking this out today. It's slick, it's solid, and I love the feel. So let's get down to it. PHX-15 is one of those guns that out of the box is going to perform really well. I've been trying a little bit and this is just a great gun out of the box. It's OEM by VFC so you know it, you're getting a solid well-built gun. It's not just any VFC though. They actually threw a couple of components in here that's going to really set it apart. A MOSFET that's inside the gearbox, a piston with a bunch of steel teeth on it, and a fantastic rotary hop-up as well as a nice high torque motor. We're going to touch on all that in the second video for this gun, which will be the internals and all the mechanics in there. But in the meantime, we're going to focus on the externals. This is just the overall review of the gun. Performance-wise, you're probably looking at about 380 feet per second roughly out of this guy. The other models with longer barrels, you can expect a little bit more speed, roughly 390 to 400. But 380 out of this gun is going to make it a great field gun. With that torque motor, you're going to get a really nice rate of fire. We're looking at about 15 rounds a second, roughly on a 7.4, and quite a bit more on an 11.1. Now, because it's got that torque motor and a nice MOSFET in the gearbox, it can handle an 11.1 out of the box. Its AOE is corrected just a little bit so that the piston doesn't strip out when you're running a high rate of fire or over time. So when you get this gun, it's not going to have a whole lot. It's going to have the gun, the cleaning rod, and the mag. So it's kind of a bare bones gun but you really don't need a lot. You probably have a lot of M4 mags sitting at home that are going to fit this just fine, and you're going to pop them in here, and you're going to go out on the field without even having to open this up or tune it, and it's going to shoot great. So with all that out of the way, let's actually check the gun out in detail. We're going to start with the stock as usual and move our way forward. Starting with the back, Jag is actually going to have their own stock on here. I actually really like this. It's solid, it's comfortable, and it's actually somewhat multi-purpose. It can take a brick lipo or a stick lipo, believe it or not. You simply rotate the lever here, pop the back piece off, and you're going to have plenty of room in the back here for a brick lipo, and you've got a lot of room in the buffer tube for a stick lipo if you want to pop that in there as well. Now stored in the buffer tube is going to be your uh, connector here. It's a mini tight Tamiya connector, so it'll fit a lot of batteries out there. Of course, being a retractable stock, it's adjustable for length, so if you want to adjust it outward a little bit, plenty of room for you. I usually leave it just a little bit less than the fully extended length for it to be comfortable for me. And it's got a few quick detach sling points here, even though it doesn't come any of those quick detach slings. So those can be inserted on either side of the stock. Something I really like that JAG did include on here was a sling mount already equipped with the gun. So you can pop your sling on here and do one point sling really quickly if you want to. Moving up the gun, you are going to get a full aluminum body, so it's very lightweight, really nice feel, really slick. I like it. And the big thing for me about this gun is the trademarks. I love the JAG arms engraved trademarks in this. On the opposite side, they also put a laser engraved American flag. It is facing the correct direction. Of course, the stars are running into battle. So really, really nice touch on there. Your selector switch is going to be an ambi selector switch. So lefties and righties, it's going to be friendly for both. You hit one, and it's actually pretty smooth. And it actually activates the other one as well. So both can easily go from safe to semi to full auto. Your pistol grip is not going to have a little uh, finger notch here, so it's actually a little more comfortable than usual. I think I actually like it more than a standard uh, standard grip, so I'd personally take this over a standard grip any day. Now go ahead and pull your charging handle, expose your fake bolt here, and it'll actually lock back, and that exposes your rotary hop-up. I do like that a lot. vfc has been putting rotary hop-ups in their gun for a little bit now, and it's a nice touch. A lot easier to adjust, and they actually stay where they are supposed to. Unlike older hop-ups that actually can rotate back if they're a little loose. On the other side, hit the actual bolt release here, and that will release your bolt. The sights on this gun are the Troy flip-up style sights. So you're going to have your closer range with a long, bigger uh, circle there, but a bigger loop, and the longer range ones with a slightly smaller aperture there. Now your rear sight is going to be adjustable for only windage. Your front sight will be adjustable for elevation. It's just a little notch here, and it's adjustable up and down. What I really like about these sights is they're very stiff. There's a button on the left side that when they're elevated, you can just hit it. It's really stiff and knock it down. What a lot of people are going to like is the rail system here. This is one of the shorter rail systems you can get for this platform. It's actually an M-Lock aluminum free float rail system. So really, really slick. Feels good in the hand. 
your barrel is actually going to have a gas block underneath it. So a little more realism there, which I really, really like. I love more realism in guns. And it also have a fake gas tube in there as well. So big plus. Kudos to VFC and JAG for popping that in there. Nice touch on here is the fact that you get a metal flash hider instead of a plastic one. That way if you drop it or something or it gets uh, dropped in a bag, your plastic flash hider won't shear off or crack or anything. Being metal, it's going to last a little bit longer. In short, the JAG PHX-15 rifles are fantastic. Definitely worth every penny. Something I would actually consider buying myself. These are a little more expensive than your entry-level gun because they're a lot nicer. So, that said, I'd totally pick one up myself. These rock for the money. I'm really, really surprised by the quality, actually. Great aluminum receiver, really nice handguard. Just the right number of upgrades to let you play out of the box without having to upgrade or tune or anything. Shoots fantastic. Good rate of fire and really snappy trigger response with the MOSFET and torque motor. Especially if you're running 11.1, this thing is a laser beam. Now in the next video, I'm actually going to open this gun up. We're going to check out the gearbox, the hop up, the motor, and all the cool upgrades you get right out of the box with this gun. We're going to see what makes it tick. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Prodder T from Kilo23. Stay tuned for that next video.